Posted on today's top hits here on C90.7 WZIS FM, Terre Haute. This is the Shut Ins Talk Show on Z90.7. Here we go! It's time to nerd out with all the latest in the world of video games, media, and technology. Hello and welcome to the Shut Ins Talk Show. It's me, it's me, it's DJP, and with me as always is Gavin the Chef Cook. What's poppin', Pickett? Uh, nothing much. Thought there was a, uh, essentially uh, a metaphorical fire going on, uh, but it, it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, you saved me two seconds ago from looking stupid, yeah. which I appreciate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're back uh, once again. Uh, didn't have a show last week because shocker. Sports ball. Sports ball. Didn't know about it at until uh, the day of, which was quite depressing. Hey, it happens. Um, but it happens, yeah. Uh, but all that matters is that uh, you know we're here now, and sure enough, uh, it's a classic that's been happening all semester where um, uh, we have a show and then we don't. And then we have a show, and then we don't. And now we're about to go on spring break next week. It'll be so fixed we once we get back, though. Yeah, when we come back, it should be, like, pretty much It'll okay. go back to what is normal, or we, what we thought was normal. It, yeah, right. I will say, my, my victory tour, my, my ending victory tour, has had a lot of roadblocks, to say the least, <laughs> yeah, so far after this After spring break, that's your final tour. Yeah, that's that's where we'll really be on the on the home stretch there. Um, also, um, like I say, it's a slight thing, like, obviously this week uh, we're live from the beginning, uh, didn't mess that up this time. That's cool. Uh, and while some other like other technical things are a little like meh, uh, my computer's dead, so we're using my phone today for everything. You got the uh, same problem. Yeah, well, we we here at shut-ins are are very prepared and smart. Uh, we're smart to boys, say, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, uh, we've got some stuff to talk about. Uh, thank you know, thank the Lord, because. <laughs> Um, we were kind of, it kind of sucks too, because we like, there was some good stuff to talk about last week, and I was very excited to do it. Um, but yeah, no, uh, but in, you know, in kind of a blessing in disguise, we have, uh, uh, there was a, a bit of, and this will be the first thing we'll talk about since I'm bringing it up. Uh, there was some casting, or a casting rather, that happened last week. Yeah. And then the one that happened more recently, a couple of days ago, which we would have talked about anyway, but now we can talk about both. And Gavin, yeah. you filled me in on one of those. I believe the most recent one, right? Uh, yeah, you knew about the first one because you said you had read about it. Um, yeah. But so we can talk about that first one since yeah. it was before the newest yeah, one. Yeah, last week. Um, so the Craven the Hunter movie, which is starring Aaron Taylor Johnson as Craven, uh, you know, I, I, Sony yeah. doing their thing in their Sony verse. Yes. Um, Focusing on villains. They so casted far. their chameleon. Mm-hmm. And the person they casted as chameleon was White Lotus star Fred Hetchinger. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been a couple other things I've also seen. Um, I just can't really like put the name of the projects he's been in. Okay, like the names of them don't come to mind. But uh, he's a pretty good actor, right? Um, plus you know it's not like he's gonna be stealing the show anyways, because um, I think Chameleon. So here's what I assume is probably gonna happen. I, say, with I, it. I recall Chameleon kind of being like a. Maybe not a joke on purpose, but seen as a joke. Later, character. well, later on, as superheroes, you know, became fighting bigger and bigger, bigger threats. Yeah. Chameleon kind of just became minuscule because yeah. he literally just has shape shifting abilities. He just turns into people. Doesn't copy them. Yeah, just looks like them. Yeah, basically. Um. Well, actually, Chameleon's the one who's behind the pointing meme. You know, that's yeah, why there's two Spider Men. Yeah, that's him. And uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But um. Russell Crowe was also casted. It just doesn't say for what. It just says as a member of Craven's family, so probably his father. Because oh, okay. in the comics, Craven has a terrible relationship with his dad. Mm. And so since this is essentially Russell, an origin story. Yeah, Russell Crowe's a, a get for that uh, kind of a small character. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, but I didn't even hear about that one. That's crazy. Not much more has been gone into detail on like what Chameleon's going to be doing or his yeah. role in the I show. Mean, we don't even know much about that movie anyway. Yeah. I just assume that since it's an origin story and Craven's not supposed to be a villain right off the bat, yeah, he's probably going to be given the Venom treatment and be an anti-hero. Yeah, and so but then, I'd assume I that. Like, Chame- I, I would also think that he won't be um, like a whole. Well, he probably won't, he'll probably be more of a villain at least because you know he's called uh, Craven the Hunter. It, it'll they'll Still. probably have him like go down the path of mm-hmm. becoming a villain, but um, I just assume that Chameleon's probably going to be his first hunt. Yeah. Or one of which that gets brought into the light I was in the say, movie. Isn't Chameleon just like 
Are they from like a different planet or something, or are they like on Earth the whole time? Because Craven's not from Earth, isn't he? Craven's from Earth. Oh, I thought you're it, thinking I, of Lobo from DC. Am I? Yeah, I might be confusing yeah. aspects of that. Craven's just a human who's okay. a I, big I, game I, hunter. I, I, was, I could have sworn that he was like an intergalactic space. I mean, I think no, he, I Chameleon's human though. too. He just has the ability to shapeshift. Okay, Chameleon's I, basically. I'm not filled in on my on my. Maybe not for Craven, but like lesser known yeah. Spider Man. Chameleon's basically Hush, just without mm, the plastic surgery yeah, part yeah. of it. It's like an actual so superpower. So better. Yeah. Um, as cool as Hush is, but yeah. yeah, Hush is cool. Just you know how much time real, it takes to plan elaborate. this out. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ariana DeBose was just announced today that, or yesterday, that she was casted as Calypso, mm -hmm. who is a voodoo priestess, yes. and in the comics is also. Lovers and partner with Craven, ah, and uh, technically baby mama down gotcha. the line, but probably not in this movie. Yeah, but um, it's pretty cool. I don't know. So as an actress, it's a great casting. She's yes. awesome. Um, she actually just got nominated for a SAG award for her role in the newest uh West Side Story, Steven Spielberg's remake. Word, that's a good get. Even yeah. more so. Yeah, especially SAG awards. Yeah, they're. Kind of labeled as more strict than Oscars nowadays. Yeah. Which is good. It's dope, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I feel like I, this movie is just really up in the air for me right now. Yeah. I'm going to need more strange. information. Yeah. You know, because, like, obviously, if they're still casting, they haven't gotten into the production yeah, quite, part. We're quite early, yeah. But uh, I'm excited, though, because, like, I love Aaron Taylor Johnson. Oh, I do too. Um, Absolutely. Which this isn't quite. This isn't something we have to talk about a whole lot of, but have you seen the trailer for the new movie he's in, Bullet Train? I sounds familiar. I don't know if I've seen the trailer. Though. Uh, the trailer might be brand new. I don't know. <laughs> I just watched it today, just because it, I saw Brad Pitt, Brian Tyree Henry, and um, I forgot her name. She was in that one show um, on Hulu. It was the limited series about the girl whose mom was lying about her being sick the whole time. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know. About. The girl that plays the girl in that. Gotcha. <laughs> but uh, the movie looks good, and Aaron Taylor Johnson's also in it. Word. And it, it's like an action, huge action movie that takes place on a futuristic-looking train. Sweet. And, like, it's just, like, a whole bunch of different, like, mercenaries or, like, assassins or whatever fighting over a briefcase. Oh, word. But um, I forgot his name already, but the dude who plays Scorpion's also in it. Like, from the newest Mortal Kombat? Mm -hmm. Ah, I don't remember his name either, but that's cool. But, uh, He's great. Because it, it takes place in Japan also. Ah, um, gotcha. Oh, that trailer is sick, though. They have yes. a Japanese version of uh, Staying Alive by Bee Gees playing in the background. That's awesome. Because it takes place in Japan. Word. So maybe it's not futuristic. The train is just Japanese technology just oh, that yeah, looks cool. awesome. Yeah, it's just, it's just a bullet train, yeah. yeah. And we don't have those in America, so it looks like the future to us. But uh, it the movie looks sick, and Aaron Taylor Johnson is using like his real British accent. Good. And so that's sick. Um, but uh, just... Sorry, reading his name made me think about it. Right, and no, that's cool. It's something cool to talk I was about. Say, I was like, we're kind of, I was like, we're, we're kind of like, I don't want to say grasping straws for this episode. Today's like, just one of those episodes a, where it's been, not a lot. It's been a slow week. Yeah. In the in our world of yeah. stuff, it's like, been a slow couple of weeks because even next week we probably probably would have had similar issues. Yeah, well, that's the thing. A lot of stuff we were, we've been talking about of like being like excited for coming out either, uh, or like that we're ongoing have either stopped. Or in uh or like movies are about to come out or just have yeah. stuff like that. So like yeah, having this week as a break is probably just good news wise. Yeah, especially since we're about to go to spring break. Yeah, and like yeah, it's like there'll be stuff. I mean, there's stuff announced all the time, but like yeah, like like a main thing we've been talking about is Moon Knight. Uh, you know, in other Marvel stuff, but like that comes out at the end of the month, so there's only so much more they're gonna show. It's like you know, uh, yeah, like exactly three weeks from now. Yeah, um, that, that's gonna be happening. What's super cool about it though is. Um, which this is my speculation part of the news break. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, over, over what? Over the, the Craven stuff? Yeah, Craven. Okay. So, yeah. Good to get back on time. Yeah. Sorry to derail, but <laughs> we're back. Um, so he is, it's confirmed that he's signed on for multiple movies. Of course. And we already know Tom Holland was talking about how Kevin Feige's plan was before No Way Home. That instead of multiverse, it was going to be Craven if they couldn't pull it off. Mm. And, you know, everyone was like, Aaron Taylor Johnson will be playing Craven in, in the, the Sony, Sony film. Yeah. And so, like, you know, just randomly choosing Craven means 
here's my speculation. There has been nothing officially confirmed, but because of all the stuff that happened in No Way Home, mm-hmm. the Sonyverse and MCU are more intertwined than we think they are. Yeah. And so I think that the multiple films, one of which will involve Craven, obviously, you know, Venom and Morbius all in the same universe, so they'll probably all intertwine at some point too. Yeah. I think it's going to be an even bigger thing, like an MCU thing. Like, you know, possibly the next Spider-Man trilogy. Mm -hmm. Just like I said, Morbius, if this is... Because, you know, every time something new about Morbius comes out, it just gives me more speculation on the MCU secretly being a part of it all. Yeah, because when we last talked about Morbius, it was when they came out that last trailer, like, ah, man, a a month or two ago now? Yeah. And, like, throughout that, I had noticed some myself, but then upon, like, further looking and seeing, like, other people, like, point out stuff that they had seen... It was like, well, here's this reference implying that it's in the Rainyverse, and then of like the original three Spider Mans. Here's some things like insinuating it's part of the Amazing Spider Man. Here's stuff talking about like implying that it's like from the MCU. I mean, that like graffiti of Spider Man in the background, I think was ripped from like the video game. So it's like it had literally it every was feasible. It's funny like, that thing. the graffiti in the background was a pose from one of the game's loading screens. Yeah, but it was the Raimi suit. Yeah, so it's like that's a that's a double thing too. Yeah, like, so like and so, this movie's just like, and I think we talked about it then. Like, it could be them just like covering all the bases, seeing like what can they like then like say explicitly, or if they're just like messing with people. Or, like, I think it might like, whatever, or they, if they legitimately are just gonna be like, same with like how it kind of seems like the MCU is doing now. Everything counts. Everything's part of everything. Well, whatever. also, uh, I I saw this one theory where the dude was like. It may not be a part of any of them. It right. may be like just another one of those multiverses where it's just an amalgamation, yeah. Yeah, where like this Oscorp is technically the same one from Amazing yeah, Spider Man. Like picking and choosing, yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, that's this, possible. the Spider Man that was here that's labeled a murderer right now just so happens to be wearing a suit identical to Tobey Maguire's. Yes. And stuff like that. Yeah, it could just be like, kind of like what I mentioned before with how the MCU can like do things now with the multiverse. They can literally just, for anything they make from here to the end of time, they can just, if they want to make a new movie. Yeah, because, yeah, they can use because multiverse as their just get out of jail free card. Yeah. But forever. Because they can be like, now we have this new show and it's like this character, these like characters you know, but some things are kind of different. This thing didn't happen, but this did. And like, Sony can do the exact same thing yeah. with that. And so, they clearly, at least, like, whether it's, like, just trying to be tongue-in-cheek or, like, seeing what they could get away with, it's either that or they legitimately are just, like, every, we can, it's just whatever. We can yeah. pick and choose. So my bottom line thoughts are, which I'm I'm actually curious to see what you think because, like, we talk about it, but I don't think either of us have really been, like, well, this is what I think is going to happen. Mm-hmm. We, get, we just kind of, like, talk about possibilities. Yeah. I think that it's all just, like, red herrings because they don't want to, like, they don't want to make it, blatantly obvious yet that yeah. Sony the Sony versus technically MCU mm-hmm. because I mean let's be real here Sony still owns Spider-Man but because yes. of the MCU we got the Tom Holland movies and they grossed millions upon millions of dollars Absolutely. billions even at this point yeah but um I think that it's just red herrings to kind of make it like less blatant just from a trailer alone mm-hmm. because with, and it gets people talking too yeah because with Blade right coming Mm. Morbius and Blade always find a way to Are clash. Pretty interconnected, yeah. Yeah, because like they like they usually it, they usually have like basically a Captain America and Bucky Barnes relationship right. throughout the comics, where they literally just fight and then they're cool, fight again and then they're cool. Yeah, that's basically all it is. And I I highly doubt that the Blade movie would be all about him trying to take down Morbius, but it could be a thing that pops up since Blade is a vampire. And also hunts vampires. Correct. Thus, you know, like I said before, like, it's probably going to be, like, either a Dracula story arc or one of those giant vampire villains that Blade always faces. Yeah. And... Which I think is crazy, too, because in the, the in the unused scene, because it wasn't okay for them to use it at, at the, the... That was supposed to be the ending of the first Blade, was that it was supposed to be right before it ended, um, they, like, looks off in the distance, and there's, like, some, like, hooded dark figure there. And they basically, like, in the recorded footage that, like, is, like, available to see, they're, they're basically just like, oh, no, it's, like, Morbius, but we can't legally say it's Morbius because we don't know if the scene's going to be okay. So we're like, oh, it's him. 
it's that guy, and it's like kind of generic, but they're like implying it's Morbius. Yeah. Because obviously he's never Which been Which that would have been screen. sick too. It would have been, but then they were just like they didn't have the rights to that. No, like, I know what you mean. Yeah, like because all because you know like back then the rights were all over the place. Yeah, that was when Marvel was now. literally like. That's what. Yeah, that was that was after Marvel had been like, we need money, please take anything you want, and so yeah. they took place before they started rebuilding. Yeah. I think it's so funny that the only thing keeping them from being all Marvel and all MCU is literally just the Sony deal. Yeah, that's the only one. Which, that's, that's like, fine, though, because they're both yeah, making money. I exactly. don't see a need for them to get in another fight about it. Yeah, I, I hope... I think yeah, they've I really think, found a good ground to stand absolutely. on with each other. I think that, like, through, like, even, like, like which is kind of crazy, through, like, both, like, money deal, just, like, negotiations, and even movie lore-wise, like, they're on a good track. Like, yeah. Just have everything be smooth and cool. So, I, I yeah, I agree. I hope that that, like, yeah. sticks around. I hope Craven's also, like, just a cool movie. Since yeah, I, I never thought I'd have a whole Craven movie. I didn't think I have a, a Venom movie, much less two. Both so both like, Venom movies are like dope as like yeah. as can be. Yeah, and so like, like they've been doing well. Yeah, like the first one, great. The mm-hmm. second one, I don't think was better, but also wasn't bad by any means. Uh-huh. It's just like the first one hit so many like crossed off so many checkpoints for fans, and yes. the second one because it was shorter. Yeah, part of the origins of stuff had to be like a little bit of rushed because mm-hmm. like. There's a lot more that goes into Carnage than him just than it just being Cletus getting the symbiote and moving on and, and starting craziness. And, and being red. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a whole like there's more like internal struggle and all that in the comics, but yeah. they just were like, no, Cletus just needs to be a full blown psychopath. Right. And the red is literally in the movie. It's just like it is in the comics. He's yeah. just angry. It's just blood. Yeah. He's just angry. Yeah. But um, um, overall, I pray that. Craven's at least a cool movie and of builds a, gives us a cool character because I need an Aaron Taylor Johnson dub in a superhero movie. I agree, dude. Because I, I, I agree. his version of Quicksilver is still my favorite, even though I love Evan Peters. Yeah. But that's it's just because his version of Quicksilver was so much closer to the comics. It was than, so much more accurate, yeah. And then just, I still can't believe they killed him off immediately. Still, that boggles my he mind. He wasn't to supposed to, man. Yeah, dude. I literally just tough. read about that like a week ago. He wasn't supposed to. That was a last minute choice. That's, I'm still upset about it. But we're going to go to break. And we come back, we are going to talk about uh, some stuff that happened on Sunday that, Gavin, I don't know if you uh, know too much about. So this might be just me me talking. Just like uh, me with Craven. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, we'll know, like, I'll Anyways, give you a break. <laughs> we'll, fi- we'll figure it out when you come back on the Shut and Stop show. So, uh, what is it? What'd you say? So, what is it? Oh, it's the Pokemon stuff. Pokemon? That came out on, on Sunday. Gross, gross, yeah. gross, gross. I was like, people on Twitch get to know before it happens on air. That's okay, but we're not going to go too deep into it, so y'all are just going to be sitting here in the dark. Yes. And I was, I'm also saving, for usual, saving Twitch from hearing um, the insanely loud ad. Also, for Twitch to know, um, yeah. some of our bumpers are just gone. So, yeah. if you're, so for people listening on air, they're just going to hear ads, and instead of us being brought back in, uh, we somehow don't have access to those anymore. You want to make some up on the spot? Uh, well, no, I'm literally just going to like once the ad is over, I'll like maybe wait a second, and then like or no, like right after it's done. So in 20 seconds, I'm just going to go back. Oh my here. gosh, Jason Momoa is officially playing the villain in Fast Ten. I saw that. Yeah. He hasn't played a villain in years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Five, six, seven. All right, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we are back with the shut-ins talk show. Uh, in, in, for those listening on air, uh, if you notice there was not a bumper bringing us back in, it's because um, I don't know why they they don't exist anymore, but they do. I don't know. It's complicated. We don't even understand it. Hopefully, they're back next time. But anyways, uh, what I was alluding to before that might just be me talking about it uh, was some news that came out this last Sunday, uh, which I kind of forgot about until I woke up because uh, Nintendo decided to have, you know, a presentation at 9 in the morning on a Sunday. Heck yeah. No. I'm not oh. waking up that early. I'm not waking up before 9 to watch something at 9 on a Sunday. By choice, at least. If I woke up early by chance, then cool. But I was not going to, like, set an alarm on a Sunday. You were not going to catch me dead doing that. But, anyways, like, when I woke up eventually, uh, I kind of forgotten about it, then saw some people talking about it. So I went and watched it. They had a 15 minutes specific Pokemon Direct that they, uh, that they talked about. Uh, so only being 15 minutes was, like, you know, I think that's kind of u- usual for Pokemon ones, unless it's, like... Well, I would say unless it's like a big one, but this was literally Pokemon Day. Like they, 
I think, 26th anniversary of the first games being released. Um, I could have sworn they did, like... I don't remember the reason what reasons they do, like, longer ones. Or maybe they've always been 15, and I'm just, like, dumb. Um, but they... Yeah, they, so they talked about some things. People were, like, kind of speculating what was happening. Because, like, you know, they just released... Uh, a couple months ago, they just released Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is, you know, a, a big, like, s- sort of spin-off game, but, like, treated kind of like a mainline Pokemon game. And it did a bunch of, a lot of, a lot of stuff different, a lot of stuff that people have been, like, begging Game Freak to do for years with the series. Uh, and it's doing really well. Like, I was kind of, like, hesitant before it came out, and so were a lot of people. It came out, the game is fun, it's cool, I still, I very much want to get it and play it. Uh, so it was an, it was a good surprise that like yeah it wasn't like because people were like I mean are some of the new Pokemon forms ugly absolutely some of them are just just awful looking I'll be real with you indubitably um, but with uh, that announcement so they they announced one thing they did announce like that people were like kind of rumoring like are they already going to announce Gen nine like Generation nine of Pokemon because usually it's like every three years when they came come out with that stuff and uh, I told that to somebody I mentioned like oh yeah the G- Gen nine got announced they're like what do you mean it's too soon I'm like. Well, no, they do it every three years, and it's been three years since Sword and Shield. And she was like, 2020 doesn't count. It's only been one year. What are you talking about? <laughs> They're like, so like, the Sword and Shield came out a year ago. I'm like, no, nah, I'm sorry. That's not That's not true. I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. Uh, but uh, So, yeah, like people were thinking, like, I, I was like, I kind of felt like, I talked about this with people last week. Apart, at the time, I felt like it's, I, if again, it is three years. That's the usual, like, production cycle. But I, I also kind of agreed that it felt kind of too soon. Um, but we'll get to how that changed in a bit. So, because uh, what's up? That new Pokemon game, the, the newest, newest one, yeah, yeah Legends Arceus, yeah. yeah. So, with that one, so you know they announced the new game or whatnot. Mm-hmm. So Legends Arceus is just already getting put to the side. Well, no, well it's a side game, so that one will get like, it, yeah, it, it's already kind of. It doesn't get the side games don't get as much like support or whatever as the main games anyway. It's just how it works. Yeah, but. But before they got to like the bigger ones, one of the things that they did announce was like a new update for it. So it was free. There was some like cool. I don't think they went into too much detail in the video. Um, but yeah, it said here like they also had like a code to get you some extra stuff. Like whatever they do that sometimes. Um, but yeah, there was just like a free like one point one zero update. I think they called it, or the Daybreak. They gave it a, a title. Um, so there was like some new battles to do at training grounds, uh, and just some more like event content because there was like showing like hordes of pokemon but like they were like way more and way like bigger and stronger yeah um, i was just thinking because like so it's not like supports any for it but like another thing is like uh but yeah with other stuff they announced uh which i'll get to yeah um i would say i can see them kind of supporting this game more because it is bigger yeah you know, so i was most side games they've done before. that's what i was gonna get to is like i'm surprised they haven't done that yet because like i get it every three years you know, new gen. Yeah, yeah. main 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 line game. Yeah, I'm surprised that they haven't like had this one game that you know, like they keep up with, add some new stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, like whenever they have new Pokemon, they like have an update to where those Pokemon are just yeah. out there too. Well, they do have something like that because the first thing they talked about was Pokemon Go. No, stop. And th- that the, doesn't count. Well, no, but something that forces me to exercise. I guess so, but uh. The, the weird thing about that, so they started with that, right? And then they, they were like, oh, there's going to be Gen 6, a Lolan Pokemon, which is weird. Because uh, I didn't even realize this until I saw some like, other people like also like watching and having like, their discussion about the Direct. And that was that they had Pokemon that came after them already in Pokemon Go. They kind of skipped over Gen 6 for some reason. As they should. And I haven't no. And Sorry. I haven't, you don't even know. Yeah. And, uh, you're a Gen 1 We already I, talked about this. Yeah. But, um... Hey. This, so name one better than Squirtle, I dare you. I don't wrong. Have, I don't have enough time. To exactly. Do that. Wrong. Anyways. Um <laughs> I'll give you your answer already. Wrong. Okay. But uh so yeah, so it's kind of interesting that's I didn't even like piece together that they had done that because I've not really played it that consistently in a while. I go back and forth between like playing it a lot or not playing it at all. Uh but that's cool. Also, like Pokemon Go almost is like getting closer are like at rapid speed is like only like I mean they're, wait, they're like a, a single gen behind. Now, probably like adding these, they're literally like almost completely caught up with every single Pokemon, which is crazy. That's a phone yeah. app. It's because that has well, almost every Pokemon that exists. It's crazy. Pokemon Go has just been so wishy washy though about it, because like yeah. there was constant content updates mm-hmm. and then radio silence, 
And yeah, then sometimes. constant updates again. Yeah. And then radio silence. And then here we are again where it's like almost completely caught up. Yeah, and then they were, like talked about some of their mobile games, which I personally don't care about. Uh, Pokemon Masters EX has oh, best stuff. one ever. That's a you don't even know what that is. It's a gotcha game. I don't care. Pokemon, gotcha. Yeah, like like GAC. I'm just messing okay, with you. I was gonna say, I, I, some people don't know. You know? <laughs> um, I didn't until like a couple years ago. Oh my gosh. Um, but Pokemon Cafe Remix is another like mobile game. They also put it on Switch. Pokemon Unite is probably another game. It's the it's just League of Legends with Pokemon. So I could not care less. Heck yeah. Uh, but that's also another game. They'll probably be like, oh yeah, like when new stuff comes out, we'll update it. Um, well, because they didn't announce, oh no, they did announce, they announced the next character is going to be, um, uh, Duraludon, which is a Pokemon I forgot existed entirely. That's from Sword and Shield, that's from Gen 8. Yeah, you broke my head. Yeah, I think it's like a big ice monument looking thing. Oh, it I've seen it, cool, yeah. But there's other ones that look similar. I was like, again, forgot that existed. They just talked about the last, the, the remakes that they came out with last year of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They talked about, or they, um... They had added the uh, the shaman events from the original games, mm-hmm. so you just put in a code and then it gets you the letter that lets you go to the island and catch shaman, which is cool. Because at first I thought like, wait, wasn't it in the base game in the originals? But no, that was also an event. So it's a cool thing they still do with like, you gotta connect to, or like put in a code nowadays where like you had to connect to Nintendo Wi-Fi back in the day to get those events, which is cool. But the big thing that we were alluding to. Uh, they had this trailer start playing at the end. They're like, we have one more thing to show you. So everybody's like, oh, they're doing Gen Nine. They're going to do it. And again, I was kind of in the mindset of like, man, I feel like it's kind of too soon. But the way the trailer goes, it's some dude. He looks like a security guard or something. He's walking through a building. like this is, And this is live action as well. So I, so I started thinking, yo, is this Detective Pikachu 2? Like the movie, <laughs> not the game. Like, are we I was like, I thought that got like, like quietly canned for like some reason like uh, a year or two ago. And it's going around. I thought the movie got good reviews. It did. Or was I wrong? Well, no, it, it did. I just, I, I think I remember just randomly hearing, like, it wasn't, like, a big news thing. It was just, like, yeah, there's not going to be a sequel, which is oh. sad. I think. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm confusing it with something else. But this guy's got a flashlight. He's going through this dark building. And, like, he shows a sign to, like, blinking. It says Game Freak. I was like, oh, we're at Game Freak Studios. So it's still, like, up, like, this very well still could be, like, oh, yeah, they're, like, Pokemon are real and, like, take a Pikachu, but maybe they're, like, also made a video game after it. And Game Freak's kind of, like, tongue in cheek involved. So he walks in this, this dude walks in this room, there's just a bunch of random stuff there. And all of a sudden, like, the light flashes and, like, goes into this screen. And then it starts showing, like, what looks like gameplay footage. And at first, I thought it was just, like, it was some of, like, the bigger places from Sword and Shield. Because it was, like, big and expansive. But you could tell it was, like, the same, like, style. Yeah. And then I start realizing, this is completely new stuff. And it's, like, showing all these landscapes and stuff. And I was like, yo, this is a new game. Like, this is a new mainline game. And also, it looks really good like it looks a lot like people like dogged on sword and shield for graphics which why do you care about graphics in the pokemon game exactly i don't, I don't understand um people just still cry about it um but like this one definitely is an improvement and it looks really nice because then, then it shows like your character walking around it looks like it's um i think pretty sure people already figured out like because every region at least the newer ones is based on a real life like location like gen 6 was based on paris or just like i think france in general um Last gen was based off of like the United Kingdom, and this time around, uh, it's based off of Spain, which you can tell like kind of from the outfits, and then the names of the three starter Pokemon, which are the only ones they revealed, and I I love them so much, all three. Of them. Also the po- and also the names of the games are Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, uh, which they love. They, they're back to colors. They, they, yeah. they, were doing, they were doing objects. For a while, we're back to colors, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, obviously, yeah. we used red and blue 26 years ago, so now we're getting... To, and then somebody, I think I saw a video, someone's like, man, what's next? What's the next one's going to be? Chartreuse and Periwinkle? <laughs> the, uh, the Pokemon Chartreuse and Pokemon Periwinkle? They just Periwinkle? gave them an idea, and you know it. Yeah, dude, I'd be cool with that. That's cool. But yeah, um, I need to find the, the, the names again, because I don't want to be wrong. But yeah, the new starters... This is like probably for me. Off brand Pokemon. No. Off brand Pikachu. You don't even know what they look like. Actually, I do. Stop. Remember, we had this chat. Oh, yeah, we did. Our very own Lyric Stop. Lane showed me. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so they had the three. Um, the grass type is a cat, and I believe the name is. That's the. Those are old. What the hell? What's going on? Um, yeah, that's. Um, but it, like on top of the game being based on like Spain, um, the names you can tell are based off of. Uh, Spanish words as well, which they tend to do. Yeah, the, the, yeah. So the grass type is a is a cat looking thing, uh, called uh, Sprigatito, which um it just looks adorable. 
Um, and I then, like the name more than how it yeah, looks. Uh, yeah, and then um, the, the, the they've been jokingly referred to as uh, Weed Cat because <laughs> it looks like it has like a little green leaf like kind of like logo on its face, and it doesn't look anything like um, a you know marijuana leaf, but it's funny. <laughs> uh, so then uh, and then the, the fire one is Fui Coco, and it's just the just goofiest looking dude. <laughs> yeah, but he kind of looks like the main character from like the Bubble Bobble series. Which is the first thing I thought of, but he just looks like a total doofus and adorable. And the last one is Quaxley, which everyone's like, yo, it's Donald Duck. Because it's a little white duck, uh, and it's got like a blue, like big tuft of hair, I guess. It kind of looks like a hat, and it kind of just looks like Donald Duck. Also, it, also his name's Quaxley with an X. That's awesome. That's, Jeez, that's, that's almost so as, great. Like, that's almost as silly as Meowth. Yeah, honestly, like, I, yeah, like sometimes you think, like, oh, Pokemon is like run out of ideas, but it's just like, no, nah, there's still a lot of on the nose things they've not done, and Quaxley is definitely like the most on the nose name. Outside, I guess outside of Psyduck, because literally Psychic Duck, Psyduck just mashed together. Yeah. Um, but but Quaxley is like that sounds almost like a no brainer for like a Pokemon name, you know? That's like I like if we Pui Coco, like you know uh, you can tell like the the Spanish like uh, inspiration. Uh, Fuego. Spree, spree, yeah, uh, Sprigatito like sounds straight up like. Just a straight Spanish word. Well, gatito is kitten. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so like, spree has is probably like some form of grass. Yeah. Or plant. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, this is probably gonna be uh, the hardest choice for a starter I've had in a while. I'm gonna have to wait till it shows their evolutions. Uh, cause last for Sword and Shield, I think I chose mine. Yeah, I chose Grookey from the beginning. She's a grass monkey. Uh, that funky monkey. Like I had to. Grass uh, monkey. Exactly. Exactly. Once I noticed. Well, that, Chimchar I was, like, was always my favorite. Yeah. Like of all time, mm-hmm. and then um, like to this day, I think Chimchar might be my favorite Pokemon yeah, ever. Yeah, no, that's I I agree. I was like Gen Four was fantastic. Yeah, with this. but uh, but then like it, it, like that yeah, one there's was, also Squirtle, but um, yeah, okay, okay, but um, and then like I think the gym before that, like I was gonna chose route choose Rowlet, but then Litten fully evolved in Cinderor, which was you know Fire Wrestling Cat. I mean that was pandering to me, basically. <laughs> By making a wrestler Pokemon. Oh, these are fake evolutions. I was confused. Oh no! Yeah, people have already made like fake ones. Like it, it, the only the, the ones we know of, like well, like, you were talking. Well, you were are. talking about Litten, and I was mm-hmm. like, wait, that's not what I'm looking at. This is the. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> it has Litten turn into Purnout. Which is not a real Pokemon, but it looks like it's. It goes it's... Litten, Litteen, and it looks like the teenage Litten. Uh huh. And then Purnout, and that's that's stupid. Looks like a bad um, yeah, dad. Yeah, uh, avoid, um, like, remember, kids, uh, if it's not on the official Pokemon website as the evolutions, uh, they're fake. People are going to draw, like, fan-made ones, and then other... Hey, some of these gonna... look realistic, though. Well, yeah, well, yeah, but then other dumb people are going to, like, steal the art oh. of, like, the fan-made ones and go, look, it's real, because it Some of these live-action ones look dope. That looks kind of cool. Or not live-action, but more realistically anim- animated. Yeah. I accidentally... It's funny, I accidentally pulled up... Uh, Gen 8, when you were talking about this, because I wanted to see as you were talking. Yeah. And you said something about uh, a white duck, and I went, bro, that's a rabbit. Uh, <laughs> I, was I was like, bro, that's a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, if I messed that up, then I'm truly happy. That would have been funny. <laughs> oh, no. Well, all right, well, we're going to go back uh, to break, and we come back, we're going to be talking about... Well, I'm not sure what we're going to be talking about next. There's a couple ideas we had, uh, but we're going to figure that out. Uh, when we come back on Shun's talk show. Period. Oh, I love Melissa from Michigan. Yeah. Um, again, Twitch, you can't hear this and you're lucky because it's, it's too loud. All right, Gavin, what are we talking about? Like, legit? I kind of figured we'd save, like, just talking about the Batman in general at, for the last one. We can go on and on about that. I don't know what else there is. It's a slow news week. Okay. Um. Uh, I guess we can talk about maybe Indiana Jones 5. <gasps> maybe we should do that. Nope. Nope, oh, nope. Find? We're going to talk about Umbrella Academy Season 3 adding Euphoria's Javon Wanna Walton. Okay, well, I've not seen either show, so... It's on you, Collider. Oh, my God. Okay, well, if you want to talk... I've not seen either show, Ash so if Trey. you want to... If Trey. you want to talk about it, then we can. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have... I don't have... I have barely any knowledge of either show, so. <laughs> They called him a drug-dealing, gun-toting right, six, tot. Five, four, three... And we are back with the Shuddens talk show. 
Uh, Gavin did find something to talk about, but I don't know if I'm going to say a word in the next like 15 minutes about it because uh, I don't know much about either thing talking about. Uh, but go ahead, you're very excited. Okay, about so it. you know me. I loved Umbrella Academy. Yes, and I um, do want to watch it. I've heard good things. The irony of this actor also because you know mm-hmm. we, both we, shows. After we were just talking about like a half hour ago as well. Yeah, and the fact that both shows in question. Or shows that decide to wait two to three years before they release new seasons. Right. Um, so the Umbrella Academy, um, it's about to start production, and they just now like announced their castings, and you know everyone's returning. The new season, Elliot yeah. Page and all of them are yes. returning. Um, they just casted fifteen-year-old Javon Walton from Euphoria, who plays our favorite, uh, and I quote, huh. <laughs> our favorite. Gun toting drug dealing tot. <laughs> He's fifteen years old. He's not a toddler. Yes. <laughs> but um Well, I mean you It's really know. cool though. Uh it's funny. Yeah, Netflix we were, just, we were just talking about random stuff like You Netflix already know Netflix has just been sitting on this waiting to announce it after yeah. Euphoria's finale happened on Sunday. Yeah, there'll be no spoilers here, but because like, this just happened two to hours ago. Oh really? The announcement. Oh, oh this is news news. All right. But uh we did have news to talk about. That. That's and crazy. Javon, or wait, who was it that tweeted this? I don't know, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, Netflix said it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Their Twitter account's weird. Uh, Netflix tweeted, I heard a rumor that Javon Walton is joining the cast of Umbrella Academy Season 3. Not happy to confirm that it's true. Oh, cool. And um, had publicity shots of him. Okay. Uh, who's still rocking the eyebrow slit he had from oh, Euphoria for his character Ashtray. Yeah. I wish he had... Okay, this sounds terrible because he's only 15, but I wish his face tats in the show were real life. Oh, dude. Dominic be... Fikes are. Well, yeah, but that's... <laughs> Dominic Fike has a random Apple logo on his cheek. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, geez. It's it's suitable. Is it? But, uh... I'm excited, though, because, like, mm-hmm. Euphoria is dope because, like, it has a little blend of, like, all different types of genres. Yeah. And, and yeah, like, I mean, that's a... And in general, like, it's a good thing. It's, like, he just was got, like, really popular from this show. Yeah. So, like, obviously they would have casted him, like, probably They pr- They before. had to have cast him before since they're about to start production in two months. Right, yeah, exactly. So they already, like, cast him and stuff, and we're just, like, working out that stuff. So by luck, sort of, like, they obviously knew he was good, but, like, he also just had, like, a notable performance in this show yeah. that just, like, the season just ended. So, like, also having it announced, like, afterwards is great because, like, everybody's talking about him. We were just talking, like I said, we were talking about him 30 minutes ago before the show. Yeah. Uh, and now here he is put into, like, another, like, super big and popular show. Mm-hmm. Uh, Making it big. So, you know, as you know, Umbrella Academy is uh, Gerard Way's take on superheroes. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, rumors have been speculating and whatnot. And uh, people have looked at the comics and they're like, we think we might know who he plays. Yeah. And uh, it might be playing Diego, one of the character's sons. Mm-hmm. And uh, that'd be cool. I guess. He has laser beam powers. Like eyes, mouth, what? I think hands. Oh, hands. Okay. I don't know why I thought... I'm not completely... I I never read the comics. The show is just dope. I don't know why I thought lasers (laughs) from mouth before lasers from hands. (laughs) (laughs) Some characters do that, right? Uh, I don't know. Godzilla. (laughs) Yeah, that counts. Yeah. Um, I honestly don't care who he plays. I just want to see, like... He only gets, like, so much action in Euphoria because, obviously, it's... It blends a lot of genres, but overall, it's mm-hmm. you know still drama. Yeah, and, and so, it's a show about high schoolers being yeah. air quotes, and he well, in the show is like thirteen. He's so. thirteen in the show, but he also you know has murdered people. Oh yeah, might I add? Yeah, um, but very no. unrealistic high school in that show. <laughs> in case y'all didn't know, but uh, I just I don't care who he plays. I just want to see more action scenes because kids are actually a boxer. Yeah, you, like you in real life. That. Gavin showed me some, like, he had found the... It was a TikTok. It was his TikTok, his TikTok account. TikTok account. And he was, like, him doing, like, boxing training. Again, this dude, it, it, like, in, in real life, is 15. Yeah. And he has got just uh, laser fast. He's fits. got better it's, hands. Or he's got, not bet. I wouldn't say better, but he's got quicker hands than some boxers you see train. Honestly, yeah. Like, he and was like, just, like, oh, my Lord. And, that uh, was crazy looking. <laughs> it's funny. His Twitter account says, um, he... Uh, quote tweeted the announcement and said, let's go. <laughs> and then his bio, 
Describes himself as boxer, actor, and future world champ in all caps. Yo, he put boxer for yo. He's put he has acting. He's getting big in acting. Just like had a great performance in this like super popular show. Just got casted in this other super popular show, and he's still saying like, "Yeah, I'm a boxer first. That's crazy. Well, that's what he started with, and that's like he so literally crazy. got casted in Euphoria just because like he wanted to. Right. Like he saw an audition and went. That's so crazy, dude. And so like. I don't know. I think it. You know, it'd be really dope. Mm. Three years down the line, we see him like actually like in the ring. Mm -hmm. And do you know how dope it would be to like say Umbrella Academy keeps going and going and going? Yeah, and it could. You know how dope it would be to flex the fact that you are an 18 year old world heavyweight champ and are in two of of the biggest streaming shows ever of the last like you know, five years. Yeah, dude, that'd like, be super flex. That'd be a bigger the, flex than Soldier Boy being the first rapper to do everything. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it'd be up there. I don't know if better, dude, you know. But, uh... But that's that would be uh, insane to be able to tote that when you're 18, be like... Because I was like, I, I would assume you have to be at least 18 to, like, fight in, a, like, a boxing ring. Um, they have, like, they have, like, youth tournaments. You have to be 18 to be, like, in a professional right. uh, setting. Just be... Well, professional is not the word, but, like... Yeah, like, yeah. L- like superstar professional. That's right. what I mean. Yes. Because, you know, television and stuff, press releases and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he does, like, youth tournaments and okay. stuff like that. I didn't know there was youth boxing. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, when I used to do youth wrestling, they had uh, youth boxing oh. advertised. Okay, cool. And my I mom was those. always like, you sure? And I'm like, I'm good with wrestling. Yeah. It's like, I'm good with not having CTE before I graduate <laughs> high school. Yeah, I could go with that, you know. I guess I could have just taken Mike Tyson's advice and just not gotten hit. That's true, though. <laughs> That's the best interview I've ever seen in my life. They're like, how is your he- like brain not messed up? Then He's don't like, get don't get hit. <laughs> just, that's, that's, what, that's the advice I give people when playing stuff like Smash Bros. Instead of fighting games. It's like, it's like oh, man, like, oh, like, how'd you beat me? It's like, uh, just, just don't get hit. Like, how, <laughs> how do you win? Just don't get hit. Forehead. Come on. Just, just don't get hit. Don't lose. Be better. But, uh, just have uh, fun. <laughs> 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 um... Again, uh, gotta... Oh, but details on, like, what's going to happen and, like, what role he plays, mm-hmm. very, like, up in the air right now, which, right. We'll, which you is, know, we'll find out when we get the trailer. But I'll say that's, well, yeah, but it's also kind of interesting that I wouldn't even say, like, right now, like, who he's playing, because, like you said, production's, like, what, a couple months out? Yeah, and which so, like, I think that's smart, though. Yeah, I mean, think true. about it. Every other press release about anyone getting casting in anything uh-huh. instantly just puts expectations on everything. That's true. If you, and, if you just say, well, yeah. Even plus, then, all the, plus a lot of the fans of the show probably never read the comics. I'm, there's probably a Because, like, a I'm not going to sit here yeah. and, like, you know, false claim that I, you know, I used to love the Umbrella, comic, Umbrella yeah. Academy comics. It's yeah. great. Gerard Way is awesome. Mm-hmm. Gerard Way is awesome, but yes. I never read the comic. Right. And, uh, but... Uh, Emmy Raver Lampman, who calls it the new season massive, according oh, to what the script says, uh, went into detail and she said, We're running adjacent to the graphic novels now, oh. but I don't think Steve, the director, is uh, beholden to all the graphic novels, meaning like he doesn't think he's going to take all of it verbatim. Right. Uh, she said, It's more so needing to reflect what's happening in the novels, but also what's happening on screen in real life. Mm-hmm. Because like the last season dealt with like some time travel junk. That's what I heard. Yeah. But uh, she said I don't doubt that the director knows what he's doing because Gerard Way also is executive, executive produced. Yeah. And uh, so she was like, the show itself is finding its own way, which it's adjacent to the graphic novels. But the third season, we're really trying to like make its own thing, but keep the same themes. Mm-hmm. Like there may be new plot points and whatnot, but mm-hmm. but either way. This is awesome. Yes. And uh, best of luck to Lil Ashtray. <laughs> it's good. I'm going to call him that for the rest of my life. Oh, no, he's stuck with being called Ashtray for the rest of his life. Or just Ash. Yeah. Because, like, Ash sounds cool. Yeah, yeah, Ash can be short for, like, a bunch of things. But also, that I'm gonna name my kid Ash. was Ashtray. I'm going to name my kid Ash, just Ash, though. Mm-hmm. And then when people are like, what's that mean? I'll be like, so there was this show so, when I was oh in college. Um, his namesake is after a dude whose full name was Ashtray. That's messed up. What? I was like, I was like, I, I, honestly, I'd sp- but it'd be better than like if their full name was like Asher. I'm gonna make my kid I'd, a like, boxer. I f- make the oh no, dude. I was like, but also like as long as you don't name your kid like Asher, I don't know that name just doesn't sound right. Asher like, Roth. I, outside of him, outside of him, he's son. Fine. I named you after the best <laughs> white rapper ever. <laughs> 
No. Psych. Just kidding. You're named oh, after a nerd. It's <laughs> named after some dude. <laughs> some dude's uh, character in a show. <laughs> went, and his full name was Ashtray, an inanimate object. <laughs> Tats. Crazy. No, but other uh, than that, no. that's just about it. It's exciting, though. Yes. I'm absolutely. excited because I want to see him act. In a, I mean, one, I want to see him box. Ah, yeah. I really want to see that kid throw hands. Yeah, I, but yeah. two, I want to see he's him got, in more things. Yes. Because, like, he's dope in Euphoria. Mm-hmm. Even though there's some episodes where he just mm-hmm. doesn't speak at all. He's just there for looks. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, too. Like, I remember, like, hearing about that character. So I basically absorbed all of the show through Twitter because I never actually watched it yeah. myself. I probably will at some point. But, yeah. like. I just, like, have it. It's a it. good show. Um, but, like, because usually dramas aren't my thing, but this one seems more interesting. Yeah. Um, but, like, I literally, like, I did, wasn't even aware that he was a character until, like, three weeks ago. Yeah. So I, I thought he wasn't even in the show so, until three weeks ago. It's actually funny. So where this show is, like, obviously, like, they're only in high school. This can't be real. Uh, yeah, obviously. So where it has those moments, though, but the drama feels so real to high school, like, how you just, like, you have to know. Yeah. Like, like, what's going on? Like, rumors and gossip and stuff like that, yeah. It feels like that, even though, you know, obviously it's a show. It's not yeah. the same as rumors. Obviously. But, like, you're like, I have to know what happens next, because this mm-hmm. is dope. Yeah, they have good cliffhangers, from yeah. what I've seen and heard. Uh, especially for, uh, a, at the end of a season, which, uh, next one's not for, no, two years. So everybody's going to be frothing at the mouth <sighs> in two years' time. Can you only imagine? Like, I remember <laughs> when Euphoria first came out, people were like, this is a good show. Yeah, and then but this like, season happened. But, like, like, yo. Yeah, I, but, like, like I literally when saw it ended, I follow on Twitter that were like, I've not watched the show, but you can tell me to watch it. Should I? And they caught up with it in a week, and then they were watching every week, like, oh, what's going on? What's I I'm know. telling you, dude, the first season this, was... This season got people, It was so slept on, and so I finally, like, gave it a try, mm-hmm. caught up, and I was like, what? Yeah, dude. I almost wish I would have just waited until after the finale. Mm-hmm. I would just be a whole season behind all the time. Huh. <laughs> all right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, preview a movie that's just about to come out. Do some hot goss. Uh, yeah, just talk about whatever because we're both absolutely stoked to see it and I don't know when I'm going to see it. But we'll figure <laughs> it out <laughs> when we come back on the Shonen's Talk Show. I almost just didn't say words there. I don't know if you heard Shut me. Shut baby. I, it's come back to blah, blah. Don't know la, 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 la. You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> I guess so. You picking up what I'm throwing down. Are you, why are you Do you hear it, the that's words that's that are coming out of my mouth? It, so like, don't throw it down, bro. You can just, you can just put it down. Sit nah, down. I'm throwing. Down? No, slinging it. Oh dang! <laughs> Chill, bro. It ain't gotta be like that. Oh lord. Man, I really hope we get those bumpers back. I miss them dearly. I mean, I guess technically we should have like, probably should have made some new ones because those ones are old and they were made by people who aren't here anymore, but they're good. Uh, but if everything is weird about them, which it shouldn't be. Whatever, if anything, you could make new ones after I leave. Okay, time out. My friend Ken's might be the dumbest on, person in the world. Or we'll talk about later. Two, one. And we are back with the Shuttons talk show. I almost muted my mic. Yeah, that, that would have been cool. funny. Um, it would have been funny, but uh, we're good. <laughs> Everything's fine now. So the last thing we're going to talk about, since again it's been a slow news week, is... Yeah. Uh, uh, the Batman comes out Friday, ba, 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 and uh, that's not no, <laughs> Wait, that's sorry. Spider-Man uh, from. It just fits it, for I, everything. I, it, no, it does. We talked about that yesterday. But yeah, <laughs> uh, so Batman, the Batman comes out Friday, so we're just gonna talk about it. So like, I, I assume that we're both trying to see this movie like as soon as possible. Yeah. So I'm going how Friday, cute do so... you think Robert Pattinson is? <laughs> Dish. <laughs> uh, Everybody in this movie is uh, hot. Everybody knows this. Yeah, I'll go Every first. Season. Everyone in this movie is attractive. It's like watching yes. Euphoria, but superheroes. Uh, yeah, no, everyone in this movie is like, yo, everybody looks cool, and they're hot. Like, this is crazy. Yeah, for real. Jim uh, Gordon's not allowed to look that good. <laughs> <laughs> He's then, supposed- uh, I guess we don't technically know about Riddler, because we've only seen him, you know, like, a mask. No, we know how he looks. Also, we know what he looks like. We know what the actor looks like, but we don't know what he's going to look like in the movie. Bum, 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 bum. Stop. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like speaking of the Riddler, because I guess we're just gonna like you know we'll just talk about like some some things we want, some things we think might happen, and just stuff in general. Like people are trying to dog on that that Riddler costume, dude. It was like a full on promo shot in like light. It's clear this movie's gonna be like dark in lighting most of the time, or at least like the light is gonna be a bit different. You know that in in any scene that matters that the Riddler's in, it's gonna be like the lighting's gonna be in a way where he looks. Like creepier or more sinister, like the, yeah. those full on, like those promo pictures in full on light, like yeah, he looks goofy. He's not supposed to like be 
shot. The in Riddler's that. never been a character that. And he's never looked super like creepy. He, exactly. Or like literally, the so last time. To we... say, Yo, this dude's either like wearing a trash bag. It's like he's like a Zodiac killer type. When's the, what do you think? When's the last time we saw the live action Riddler? I Jim, Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yeah. And they what did he full, look like? And they went full comedy. Yeah, because it was Jim Carrey. I mean, you had to. So yeah. I, I can't imagine Jim Carrey playing Riddler as like a serious like. Like, ah, oh, yes, uh, it's like, riddle me this, This Batman. is the first time we will ever, or I wouldn't say we will ever, but this is the first time we have ever gotten a serious Riddler. Well, I don't know if it's the first time. Some animated stuff have done more serious Riddlers. Or at least, like, when he, like, like it's, it's more like Joker level of stuff, where, like, it's, like, demented, but, like, still clever, at least in some well, way. Well, even in Arkham Knight, he was still, like, cartoony. Kind of yeah, he was, yeah, yeah, I was like, maybe not goofy. In Harley Quinn, he was cartoony. Well, yeah. He's always had, like, this... Though. This is the most dark we've ever seen. That's the yeah, way I, I should say it. I think the closest to like being darker was uh it wasn't Batman the animated series, but it was a different Lego Batman. Batman. Series. No. Oh, sorry. Uh, it was a different animated Batman series. I Batman think, Beyond? I no, it wasn't Batman Beyond. I don't remember what it was. Um I'll have to was figure it that out. Was it The Batman? Maybe. Cuz there is the series called The Batman. That might be it. I don't cuz I didn't watch most of it. I remember there was like an episode where him, Batman and Riddler like trapped like underwater or something but like they had like an air pocket and like the Riddler was like giving his life story to him it was like kind of like like weirdly serious and stuff yeah. and I knew this wasn't the usual Batman I had seen so I was like what is going on yeah. and then but I also think in Young Justice he was more kind of like he was kind of goofy and cartoony but he was like sinister because like that show was kind of darker in general true 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 and, true, true, and more true. serious this will be general. like this will probably be the this probably least be the, cartoony yeah, version yeah least cartoony most like, serious he may not, like he's a Zodiac killer yeah version. he may not be like sinister looking Yes. But this will probably be the most dastardly. I mean, in those trailers, I mean, the, show, the stuff they showed, like, the, to doing to, like, to Bruce Wayne and Batman, like, yeah. that stuff messed up, dude. Like, that is, yeah. that's some whack stuff. I'm excited. Because, absolutely... like, Matt Reeves, I, obviously. Because, like, well, like I say, like, before I let you say that, like, because something that we talked about mentioning, um, the reviews have come in, and according to apparently almost everyone, this movie oh, is yeah. essentially perfect. So Which I've not seen like I I did I didn't I expected it to be like very. I've good, seen one like, that's seen, not a ten out of ten. Yeah, but like I haven't seen stuff, one that's below a nine though. I don't recall ever seeing any Batman movie or superhero movie really come out and get like across the board like even Dark Knight. The highest review it got yeah. was a nine out of ten. Yeah, dude. Like even the Dark Knight trilogy was just like beloved because they're incredible. Yeah. Like even they didn't have like before they came out saying like this is one of the best like. Movies ever, uh, like some of them again, like movie reviews, I kind of take with a grain of salt. Yeah, because like, especially with, so like one of the ten out of tens was IGN. And it's like yeah, they overdo and underdo everything. Yeah, they, I was gonna say IGN has stuff. given some bad ratings and then like overrated some stuff. Yes, but like I told you, like lately, their ratings have been like slightly better. If mm -hmm. that makes sense, like some of them are a little but, over the top. Yeah, but, but even, also like as a whole though, like they've been more realistic. Yeah, but even in general, like, but again, like, even like, again, IGN, they made to do video games. I didn't even know they reviewed movies. Yeah. Um, like, literally until you showed me that. Yeah. Uh, but still, like, just across the board, like, things that are taken less seriously, things that are taken more seriously, things that are seen as, like, the only ones that matter, things that are, like, aren't even talked about, like, all of them across the board are, like, saying this movie is a 10 out of 10. And it's like, that's crazy. Like, every Batman movie, like, most Batman movies are, are at least good, if not, like, yeah. spectacular. But this movie is apparently like the greatest thing yeah. ever. And I well, would like to uh, remind everybody that when this was first announced, you know, a lot with it existing, Matt Reeves having it, and then uh, Robert Pattinson being Batman, that a bunch of people tried to dog on that because of Robert Pattinson, and you're all wrong. Factually, all he's wrong. He's such a good actor. I told so you good. when we talked about this, what did I say? What did I say? I said, haha, it's funny, make fun, mm -hmm. make jokes about Twilight, yeah. but this dude that's can a, act. That's what I said. I was like, two years ago, I literally got into an argument with two people, like, we were hanging out sometime, because they were just like, oh, Hugh was in Twilight, so he's bad. It's like, you one, you have not even seen the Twilight movies. Two, he also hates them. And three, he's been in other things. Yeah, like, one. Like, come on. Well, also, he only hates the Twilight movies because the fans were crazy. Yes. And two, the mo just because the movies were, you know, like, eh, yeah. just because they're just because somebody was in a bad movie does not make and like the character. It's not even that the bad, movie. It's, it's not, not even fault. that the movies are bad. They're just hated because they're dramatic. Yeah. When you think and vampire some, movie, some also aren't good. Well, when you think vampire movie, you don't think. Yeah. Like, like teenage like, heartthrob stuff. Exactly. And so like, 
Of course, also, they're of course they're gonna make fun of Robert Pattinson, but yeah. he did the best he could with what yeah. he had. But also, like he genuinely like between the fans, but also like someone I, I saw somebody take screen caps of like uh, like commentary over one of the Twilight movies, and they got Robert Pattinson to do it. And I don't know if it was just that scene, but it's quite if he does that the rest of the movie, it's him dogging on the movie really? while doing commentary of because one of them it's like every time like Edward would say something or like talk to Bill or whatever, he would just be like. No, that doesn't make sense. Why would you like him? Because he said that. That sounds like a red flag to me. Like, just all of this stuff. Yeah. Like, dogging on the movie like that. He's in. And I'm amazed yeah. they even, like, one, allowed it, and two, released it. Like, it's yeah. hilarious. Like, so, yeah, but, like, like I was saying, like, he has the lighthouse. Yes. He has a, uh, I'm not even going to try to name all of them. There's some yeah. just really, really good movies that he's been a part of. But, um, yeah. The reviews have been crazy. Matt Reeves himself has been like very like I wouldn't say conceited, but he's been very confident about this movie. Oh yeah. He I forget I don't know the exact wording, but he said something along the lines of like consider this an unofficial prequel to the Dark Knight trilogy. He goes, yeah. that's he goes, that's the direction I wanted it to wanted to take like the darkness with it. Yes. He goes, but this is a Batman movie. Yes. He goes, this isn't he goes, this isn't an action movie. This isn't just a detective movie. He goes, this is the perfect blend, which is what Batman does. Absolutely. Cause yeah, because even yeah, from the beginning, like when we didn't know anything outside of Robert Pattinson's in it, yeah. and there was rumors it would take place in the nineties. I still don't know if that's even been confirmed. I don't Do I don't it? think that's true. Okay. It's just, it's just like since it was year one. Because I thought I like, saw someone using a cell phone. I don't remember. I, I'm sure we'll either figure it out or, or we'll say Okay, I should have said smartphone because cell phones were around well, in the 90s. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, like, gonna... like, like yeah, oh, everything yeah. about... Because I love it's like... Because like, it, it would make sense if it take, take place in like a slightly like older time because like it looks super stripped down, which makes sense because it's like year one Batman anyway. Yeah. But still, like even in general, like it, whether he, you want or the other or it's both, supposed like, it makes to be, sense. It's supposed to be like minimalistic Batman, basically. Yes. Yeah, because year one, he didn't have like... Yeah, he had the Batcave, but like he didn't have a bunch of super high-tech stuff. Well... He hadn't invented too yeah. much stuff. Like well, his, it's year five. Reveals, I thought it was year one. or year. No, like, remember, it took inspiration from year one, but he's like only five years or only a okay. few years into it. Like, but he's still, still relatively new. It's still early Batman is the main. Yeah, right like, this, this is like, timeline standpoint, this is his first, like, villain villain that he's ever faced. Yes. Before, it's just crooks. Yeah, crooks um, and goons. Here at Shut-Ins, we love everyone, but I just wanted to make an announcement. Mm -hmm. I hope you are watching. Person that I... Talking about, there's a person in my class oh, no. that I was talking with my professor about this movie. Yeah. Because they know I am a nerd. They know I do this <laughs> show. Right. Um, I hope they are watching right now or down the line, whenever it is that they are watching this. <laughs> do your research before you interrupt me. Oh no. Because Man, it's we're one dirty laundry. What is this? It's one thing. No, it's it was about this movie, and it was literally the most pointless thing to interrupt me about. I literally was just talking about how excited I was and mm -hmm. how Robert Pattinson's going to do great. Yeah. And they kept interrupting and saying the same thing over and over again, which is, yeah, but this is a detective movie. There's not a lot of action at all. Did you not see the first trailer? That's what I'm saying. Say, literally watch the trailer. Robert Pattinson one-handed beat the actual, like, tar out of some dude. Yeah, literally like, watch the trailer. Cool. Read the synopsis. <laughs> it is a mixture of course, uh, it's gonna be part real, detective movie because it's the freaking Riddler. Yeah, yeah, duh. You uh, can't solve it with violence. He's gonna have to until, think. Uh, he can't solve it with violence until he gets you know face to face with them. Then they'll go like, "Riddle me this," and just yeah, just, <laughs> riddle me half this. The, half the tweets talking about the movie this past week, like leading up to it, it's just someone being like, "Like riddle me this, Batman. What's black, white, and red all over?" He's like, "I'm going to beat the hell out of you. <laughs> I don't have an answer." Riddle me this, nerd. Yeah. <laughs> or one of them was like, he says like a riddle, and he's like, "The answer is this." He goes. No, it's not. He goes, but it is. Though. He goes, no, it's not. He goes, dude, it's the first Google result. I'd like, Google this. it's right here. You want to give me another one? Like, and let's see, if it was like, that's why I think I feel like if it was like modern, modern Batman, like bat, like a Batman movie takes place right now in 2022. Oh, a random civilian like, would have gotten him and been like, hey, yeah, Batman. Exactly. They'd be, like, hey, be like, oh, no, we need to get Batman. And someone said the commissioner court. It's like, oh, no, chief, I just, I just Googled the Google and it's the first result in Google. Commissioner Gordon, he, he's, he, he's at, he's, he's at he's the right docks. Here. Yeah. It's always the docks, anyway, <laughs> in Batman. It's always the docks. It better not be in this movie. Well, actually, most superhero things is always the docks. Batman, I was just realized, like, Daredevil. And, Even like, the, the, the Birds the, of the Prey movie. Oh, my God. Literally everything. Even every, Birds of Prey. Dude, like, literally every comic book thing, it's just a docks. It makes my the chest docks hurt. <laughs> the do docks are evil, bro, always. Because I was going to say, like, 
I think even in the... No, that was just in the Lego game, not in the movie. Never mind. What Lego game? In Lego the Incredibles, they had like a bunch of side missions. Oh, and yeah. there was a whole area that's just the docks of like a villain <laughs> that's there. It wasn't in the movie. The Underminers! <laughs> no, that was in the movie. That's underground, Gavin. It's that was not... the joke. Uh, it's just one of my favorite quotes ever in the history of movies. It's, it's, uh, Behold the Underminer. Just that part. <laughs> yeah. It's impactful. <laughs> good, good for you, bro. And then, yeah, they ended on a cliffhanger that wasn't continued for 14 years. Crazy, but it was worth it. Why you gotta do this good... to me, man? Let me what? have my own opinion. No, I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying <laughs> you're was... making fun of me. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying like, oh, we had to wait 14 years to see what happened with the Underminer, but it was worth it. Today. Best cliffhanger ever. Yeah, The Incredibles too is fantastic. Movie. I almost forgot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did forget. Oh wow. <laughs> I was like, wait, who's uh? <laughs> uh yeah. All right. Well, that's that's about it. That's about all we got. Uh, about to wrap this up. Thank you so much uh, for listening, as always. Uh, very good to be back. Uh, it's yet another break next week, but at least we know about this one this time. Can't possibly miss that one. The next week's spring break. Uh, so this is going to be the last time that I'm on air uh, for the rest of this week. Uh, so I won't be back until two Mondays from now. Yeah. Uh, and you won't uh, be back until... Two, two Mondays days. from now. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I, um, uh... I, yeah, but yeah, you'll hear us around a time. You we'll can't, be doing whatever, You can't dog. not. Almost every day you can hear either Gavin, myself, or both at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> and if you really, the station. if you're really itching for it, you can check out our YouTube or our Twitch. Yes. Check out clips. Yeah, we upload. That was that we're, been, we're keeping the Twitch streams up on Twitch now. If you want to go back, we're, um, Gavin's been going through and like clipping just certain parts of some for like yeah. shorter form content. And all these streams get uploaded to our YouTube, uh, WZIS FM on YouTube, as well as WZIS, yeah. twitch.tv slash WCISFM, if you want to see us while we're talking, uh, for those of you listening at, out on air. Uh, but yeah, so next week's spring break, we won't be here, but the week after we'll be back, and we should be smooth sailing every week for the rest of yeah. the semester. Definitely check out the rest of the Twitch videos, though. Me and that Christian too. had a dope episode of Pass the Ox today. Uh, yes, and follow the Twitch as well, because then there's other uh, shows and podcasts yeah, that do as well. we got Pass the Ox. Shut-ins. Shut-ins unplugged whenever mm-hmm. we do get to it. We should do that. Um, <laughs> After break. Sports Extra and Sports Extra Uncut, mm-hmm. along with... That's all of them. That's it, actually. <laughs> I, I don't know why we thought... We, I also thought we had another I one. I thought there was one more. Oh, um, we planned one more, but that just disappeared. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Not happening. That. But anyways, once again, this has been the Shut-ins Talk Show. I've been Jacob Pickett. And I've been Gavin Cook. And we'll see you all next time. All right. We, we did it. Folks, we did it, Twitch. Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, everything's uh, <laughs> everything worked. There was no mishap like on uh on Monday when doing Sports Extra Uncut with Kobe and Zach. Yeah. Um so yeah, uh goodbye, Twitch. Uh we'll see you in like uh two weeks or whatever. Yeah, bye bye.